Hey, what's going on YouTube? Sans here. Got a video today talking about the Master of Humiliation Challenge and some tips and tricks to complete it. I'm not going to go super in depth on how to complete it, um, but I did want to say first off that that I'm sorry for kind of the late content, but as some of you know, um, COD TV was down because uh, there was some exploit out there where people were, were able to prestige um, some sort of prestige glitch. So in any case, let's go in here into the assignments and hit up the humiliation stuff. Backfire 3, uh, got majority of these kills actually while I was trying to complete the wet work challenge and I have a link to the wet work uh, challenge uh, below listed in the description so hopefully that'll help most of you guys. It's really not that difficult, uh, pretty pretty easy. Heartbreaker 3, majority of you probably have that from the Grave 3, got the majority of these from uh, sentry gun kills or score streak skill, uh, <coughs> kills while I was while I was already dead. Uh, sneak attack, obviously that's just sniping someone in the back, pretty easy. Revenge medals, you guys probably have that. The Sticky Bomber 3, um, most of you, uh, I shouldn't say most of you, I, I guess some of you probably have this, some of you don't. I did uh, complete this one though while I was working on the um, Tick Tick Boom challenge. And I have a link to that listed below as well in the description. Arch Nemesis, if you guys have not completed this already, you'll notice in when you're playing regular at least, when it shows the kill cam, you'll see someone that says Nemesis Kill Cam. And that's a person that, that is essentially your nemesis for the game. So make sure that you uh, track that person down and really focus on them if you're trying to complete this. Circus Act, got footage on this, so we will go into this a little bit more in depth in just a minute. Found kills, uh, you'll probably get this if you're working on that Backfire 3. Um, you know, pick up a weapon, get 5 kills without dying. And you'll probably get this as well, you know, trying to complete that where it work challenge. The Short Fuse, I ended up shooting somebody's uh, RCXD uh, and then it blew up on him. And, and now I kind of wish I would have tomahawked it, so I could have completed a different challenge under Precision, but, but that's how it goes. If you haven't completed this, make sure you're rocking Engineer. Uh, class and and that should that should help you out. High voltage. Uh, remember that that when when you get hit by a shock charge, that your aim has not changed. So what I mean by that is like you your guy like looks down and around or whatever, but your aim is still exactly where you were pointing at it prior to you being shocked. So so just remember you know that that, that should provide you with a with a little bit of help as to as to how to shoot or as, as you know as as to where to aim. On the follow-through one, uh, I did complete this in hardcore because the uh, the shock charges are a lot more uh, powerful in hardcore. So you know when when you throw a shock charge at someone in hardcore, they're they're pretty much uh, frozen for for a good you know three to five seconds. Gives you more than enough time to, to roll up on them and, and give them that knife. The stick around, I found a riot shield lying on the ground and uh, picked it up while I had some tomahawks equipped and, uh, and of course just rolled up on somebody and, and hit them with a tomahawk. Not too difficult. Hail Mary. Hail Mary is just crazy. Uh, so we'll, you know, go into that one here in a little bit more more detail. Um, got a got a couple tips on that, and we'll cut to the footage here in just a second. So once you complete all that, then you unlock the Master of Humiliation. I personally think that this is one of the the better looking, one of the sickest uh, calling cards that I've seen so far. Um, haven't seen anyone else uh, with it yet, so so hopefully um, hopefully we'll be seeing some some more of these once uh, once you guys. Uh, get out there and unlock it. So let's cut some of the footage and some of the tips and and we'll see what's going on. All right, you guys, so let's talk about bank shots real quick. So in this clip right here, showing you a couple of them, uh, they're pretty lucky. So first off, I get this guy in here in the room and then I get, get a second guy. So, you know, I started thinking about this as I was playing through and realized that there's probably a better way to do the bank shots and we'll get to that in just a second. Now I'm showing you this. Um, I killed this guy and then I'm waiting for the tech insert. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but if you don't want to spawn on your tech insert, I think that you hold Y and you won't spawn on there. So that's an option for you guys as well. But uh, that was kind of, you know, those lucky bank shots. Um, so up here, like, I'm realizing, hey, I can probably, you know, start bouncing these things off the walls instead. Bounce them off the corners because they kind of behave like grenades, you know, if you're, if you're bouncing a concussion or something. Right there, I mean, that was just total epic fail. I wasn't able to get the bank shot on it. Um, but in this one... I was able to to kind of figure out the angles a little bit more. So I knew a guy was up there, um, and you can see that right here he's waiting. So I'm trying to get that angle right, and I didn't, but I was able to get it on this one. So I guess what I'm getting at is just make sure that you're you're using the the angles to your advantage as you're banking them. So then for the hail mary, the the big question is what's the distance? You know, like how far do I actually have to go? Well, obviously that's a little bit too close. So um, so let's see, uh, you know, what what that distance is. So in this one. I thought that this was pretty far, but again, not quite far enough. Uh, so when I was finally actually able to, to get the Hail Mary, which is in this clip right here, I mean, it's deep. Um, so the first few shots I missed, and the reason why I'm showing you this, though, is that I see that everyone's congregating on that right side of the building. 
So I end up getting taken out right here by a uh, by a lightning strike. Um, and then in this one, what I ended up doing was lining it up next to that building, so right there. And then I ended up throwing it, and that's how I ended up hitting that Hail Mary. So, I mean, again, it is a Hail Mary. It's a long shot. Um, so that's actually what you're going to have to have is that is that long shot uh, distance with it. Um, but, you know, it was a bank shot as well for some reason. I looked at the replay, not sure where it banked, but I was able to unlock all the challenges. So that's a view of the top there of the, of the release going across the map, and this is where it ended up landing. So again, you know, you're gonna get, you're gonna have to get pretty lucky with it. Uh, my my recommendation here is do something where you're playing domination or some sort of uh, objective-based game again, so that you kind of know where people are gonna be spawning from. And again, due to that, I was able to figure out that they were on that right side and uh, got a little bit lucky. So subscribe to the channel, and I hope this helps out a little bit. Go ahead and leave some comments, and thanks for watching.